Um, I don't like to see that, but it is normal. Hopefully, with some nicer fluid in it <clears throat> and more proactive servicing, we minimize that amount of wear. Uh, this filter has two, possibly three screws holding it in. Yep, so we've got a long bolt and a short bolt. We're about to make a little bit more of a mess. So once that's out, you can kind of work it out of the pump and try not to splash it everywhere. Very nice. That is quite hot. So here, ooh, ooh, real hot. I've got your transmission oil pump which is driven by a chain and it's actually offset down low on the sump here. Normally it would be or on older transmissions. The pump is actually driven directly by the torque converter, which is way up in here. Now the pump is much lower offset chain driven allows things to be a little bit more compact. You've got the valve body and all your different solenoids, which are responsible for uh, achieving your shifts and whatever gears you need, whether it be forward, reverse, first through 10th uh, manual valve and linkage. Um, this electronic pump back here is for vehicles equipped with automatic stop and start. Whenever you come to a stop and the engine shuts down, what this pump does is keep the transmission primed with fluid. So when you take your foot off the brake, engine starts back up, you don't have a long delay of the transmission having to reprime everything hydraulically, uh, hydraulically before you take off. Coolant lines to feed the transmission heat exchanger. 